So there's one more thing I want to point out in the people section. Um, so here's Derek's uh, assignment returned to him. So let's go back to the classroom stream page and let's go to people. I couldn't show you this before, but now that I've got two students in my classroom, when students are posting or commenting and you see something inappropriate, let's say someone put in there, what up, bro? Um, all you have to do is go to that student, we'll pick on Derek, click on his name, and you'll notice now the action button is bold. So you can now do something. You can mute the student. What that does is it doesn't keep them from seeing anything. They can see the stream. They can see what everyone else is typing and posting. But what happens is their box for comments disappears. And this is pretty powerful because once the students realize something's wrong and they can't type, the first thing they're going to do is look up at you. And just kind of, you know, your little finger, come on over here. If, you know, they've got a device, maybe ask them to bring it with them because they're not going to use it for the rest of the time they're there. And at that point, you hand them a piece of paper and a pencil and you just tell them, this is what you'll be using for the rest of today or the rest of this period or maybe tomorrow too, uh, however long you decide. Usually it only takes one time of doing this and kids get it. They really want to be on the Google Classroom. They want to be using the digital tools. So it usually only takes once and, and the message is received. So that's one more um, just little safeguard you have for students who are off task or just not following directions. So I hope that helps.